friends and welcome back to another motivating cleaning video. I want to thank Grove Collaborative for partnering with me in today's video. I am so excited you guys decided to join me for this clean with me. I took all day just to tackle as much as I could and some of these projects I wasn't even planning on doing but I started doing something and then noticed it had to be done. So this is a full day worth of cleaning and I'm just kind of all over the place and just took you along as stuff needed to get done. I tackled it and brought you along with. And one of those things was this lint trap. I really, really needed to clean this out and I just got this new little vacuum attachment to really get in there and clean everything out. So like I said, I'm just going around my house getting as much done as possible and trying to keep this as real and raw as possible for you guys. But before I talk too much, let's get into today's video. So pretty much every day, I like to start my day in my bedroom, making my bed, vacuuming, just getting that handled. That way, if I need just a little bit of a break, I have my room to go into and just take that time. I also find it to be way more motivating when I need to get stuff done if I've already started on my bedroom. Something as simple as making the bed can motivate me to get so much done during the day. So this is one area I really like to stick to doing every single morning. And with the dogs, as you can see, my little supervisors, they are always around in my videos. They definitely shed a lot. So the other reason I have to start in my room is I try and vacuum pretty much every single day. I may miss a day here or there. Let's be real. I'm human. But I try and vacuum every single day to keep up with the dog hair. And if I don't do it right away in the morning, it often just gets forgotten. So I make my bed, I vacuum, and then I might do one or two other things, but that is my normal morning routine. Hand hand on the ocean floor, down deep we wonder. Louder we sing, no, there is no cure in this together.
So yes, this container was empty before vacuuming. However, dogs, dog hair, the boys shed. It's okay because we love them. But I have gotten to where after vacuuming, at least once a week, I go in with a carpet rake and I vacuum again because this rake is amazing and just pulls out any matted down fibers and any fur that may be twisted in there and gets so much more out of the carpeting. So this Aunt Fanny's Carpet Refresher is one of my favorite products that I use on my carpet. I don't use it all the time. Often I just use baking soda. However, I do really like this. It's pet and family friendly, but it gives the whole carpeting just a clean and fresh smell. So I love using this about once a month and I'll just sprinkle it on and let it sit for a couple hours and then come back later that day and vacuum it all up. When you call my name All right, so you guys always ask like what I use for cleaning. So I just got a huge order in from Grove. So I figured I'd go over some of my favorite essentials. This Aunt Fanny's Carpet Refresher. I love this stuff. Baking soda and stuff is good, but sometimes just getting something that has some scent to it, I really enjoy. Their garbage disposal pods are bomb. I love these. This is actually a new one for me. You know I love trying out new stuff, but this is the granite polish. I like their granite cleaner, so I want to try the polish. Um, I got the Caldrea Pear Blossom Agave Hand Soap. I wanted this for the guest bathroom. This stuff smells amazing. Their hand sanitizer in the blood orange. I love that. I got three new multi-purpose sprays. So I got the rosemary. Basil, which is just a love of mine. I have not tried rosemary yet. Basil I love. And you'll notice lemon verbena is like one of my all-time favorites. As you can see, I also got baking soda cream cleanser, lemon verbena, dish soap, lemon verbena, hand soap, lemon verbena. So one of my favorite scents is that lemon verbena. And then these came, not all of this, but the... Toilet paper and tissues actually came as an extra, so I'm excited to try that. And then I got a glass hand soap bottle actually for the guest bath. This goes on it, so that's why that's there. I also got the bubble up sponge. I've been wanting to get this one, so it's just like the bubble up scrubber. I got a replacement scrubber for mine. But this uses the sponges, and I love their walnut scrub sponges. So I got three more packs of those. I got two more packs of the walnut walnut um, scoring pads. This I also got for the guest bathroom. Clear the air before you go spray. I figured for the guest bathroom. Yeah. Um, cleaning wipes. 
Uh, this came as an extra. I love that they send this as an extra though because it's like always a reminder to replace the one I have when I get a new one. And then you guys always ask what I spray on my bedding. It's this. It's the linen and room sprays. So Sea Salt Noir is one of my favorite. I also love the Tangelo Palm and Ginger Palmello. So I got those three. But the Caldrea sprays I absolutely love on my bedding. So whenever you see my spray my bedding, it's always one of these. It's not always the same scent, but one of these. And then I got some more straws. These um, are just like reusable silicone straws. The boys really enjoy using those. And then I also got this because the boys keep putting uh, dishes with food on it on the wrong side of the sink. So I got this so that if that happens, I'm not dealing with clogged pipes because it doesn't matter how many times I tell them to put it on the right side, not the left, it still ends up on the left. So, but yeah, 90% of the stuff I get, I get from Grove. I started doing Grove when Bobby got deployed in 2018 um, because it was just a lot easier when it was just me and the kids. And I just keep doing it. We also live in an area where we don't have a ton of stores around us, so this just makes life so much easier. But yeah, those are a lot of my ride or dies. Um, there's some other stuff, like you guys know my wood for good. And um, my method um, anti-back. So there's other stuff that I use also, I just didn't need to replace them, that I absolutely love through Grove. So check out my link down below. Grove is partnering with me on today's video, which I was so excited about because you guys know if you've been with my channel for a while like I have been a diehard Grove fan for years now so it was just kind of a perfect fit so check out my link in the description below because especially for all you new members on Grove you're gonna get a free gift um but yeah I absolutely love it and with the pandemic and everything it's just made life so much easier. I get all my stuff sent to my house. Don't need to worry about riling up the kids and everyone to get them in the car and go to a store. So, Grove is the best. So after unloading my Grove collaborative box, this was one of the projects that I wasn't planning on doing. However, I went to put stuff away and this closet has just gotten out of control. So I decided it was time to go through, give it a really good cleaning, but also to organize it and declutter it. I love trying new products, you guys know that, and there's just times that I don't like products. So I highly recommend if you are like me and you like trying new products, one, either just suck it up and use it so it's gone, or get rid of it. I like to give it to friends or family that may like them, or I honestly, I just get rid of it because it's not worth holding on to it if you're never going to use it again. Turn the words of saying to ammo.
Getting that all organized feels so good. But then I had to move on to the kitchen and just unload everything that needed to be unloaded from the dishwasher and just clean up just the overall clutter and mess in the kitchen. I also really wanted to try that new granite spray. So I am definitely going to be giving that a try along with a lot of the other Grove products that I just love.
So I'm pretty sure cleaning my oven has become just as big of a joy as cleaning my sink. There's just something about cleaning your sink and getting it all nice and shining and smelling well and then cleaning your stove and it doing the same thing. I used to despise cleaning my stove, but after finding these products that really work so well, it makes it a lot more satisfying. A little bit of elbow grease and it looks brand new. To me, there is nothing better than a clean stove. I know a lot of people like gas ranges, but I will be honest, I like the electric glass top just because of cleaning wise. It's very satisfying and easy to keep clean. So I love having my glass top. I wouldn't complain if I had a gas stove, but I do really enjoy this. <laughs> It's a remedy, a remedy Alright, another project I was not planning on doing but under my sink had gotten fairly cluttered mainly because I would grab stuff out of the cleaning closet in the laundry room and just throw it under the sink when really I should be putting it back in the cleaning closet in the laundry room because I don't grab for it all on a daily basis. So I wanted to go through here clean it all out, reorganize it, and just put the stuff that I grab for daily back under the sink because it was like overflowing.
laugh when I clean up the toys of the kids and the dogs because I swear there's always more toys out because of the dogs than the children. I have not trained them yet to clean up their own toys and they're always all over the place. But here's a quick reminder, if you have stuff in the wash or the dryer, switch it over. I always forget. I can't tell you how many times I have had to rerun the washing machine because I forgot it was in there. So just a little FYI, if you haven't yet, switch over your laundry. So if you guys have wood in your house, wood cabinets, wood furniture, wood anything, you need to get the method wood for good. I probably say this almost every video, but I'm going to say it again because it is so good. I do also have the method wood polish, but I only use that about once a week. But this wood for good cleaner is amazing. The polish is really, really nice. And I'm actually going to go in with that here. All you do is spray it on and then buff it off with a clean dry rag and it just gives it a really nice sheen and like protective coat like i said i don't use this on a daily basis but this table gets beat up because the boys use this for playing eating homework literally everything this is definitely like the hub of the house So I decided on this day that I wasn't going to vacuum the downstairs by myself. So I had my little friend join me. This thing is a lifesaver when it comes to kids and pets and just trying to keep up with everything. I, even on days that I vacuum um, manually, which I will go around and do because I feel like doing it by hand just still works better. I will have this run at least once a day to try and keep up with the dog hair. And then I just went upstairs and handled one of the loads of laundry. I had a couple this day, so I didn't show all the laundry I got done this day, but I figured I would at least show you guys some of it to get you motivated. I know for me, laundry is definitely not my favorite task. Luckily, I have an amazing husband that often takes care of his own laundry. So I will wash it, I will dry it, but then he folds it and puts it away and honestly, it means so much to me that he does that. And then just going in and cleaning up that Aunt Fanny's carpet stuff that I put down earlier. It had been on for probably about three or four hours. So I just wanted to go in and get that all cleaned up. And then at this point, the downstairs was going to be done being vacuumed by the robot so that I could go down there and mop as well.
Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Also, let me know in the comments below. I know the people that make it to the end are like my ride or dies. What type of cleaning do you guys like to see? What type of cleaning do you want to see with spring coming up? I really, really want to make sure that I am putting out the content you guys want. So let me know in the comments below. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to also check out the Grove Collaborative link. You guys, if you haven't jumped on the Grove train, need to. Like I said, I have been using it for years and a lot of you already know that. It really is just a game changer and makes life so much easier when you're gonna have your products delivered right to your door and you know they're all really good, really genuine products. But until next time, bye. No